Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4. And we are playing as Brabant turned into Netherlands, and we're planning on becoming the Roman Empire. Let's take a quick break to feed the cats, get some water. Because um, we only got 11 years left, um, so we're just going to carry on. Now, the one thing I didn't do is check the uh, Nostrum. Achievement. So I do want to see exactly what we need to be conquering. Okay, so we do need um, North Africa. that map go. There was a map here that I was looking at. I didn't know it. Okay, so we need to conquer all the coast of Tunis. That's all that we're missing. So Castile will have to attack just for this one province and then basically everything along there and everything along the way here. And when can we get a war with France? Not until 1820. So we're just going to wait until we get that stuff cored. We've got these guys coming back so we're going to land them here. Let's see where is Castile's capital. Try to look it up. It's down there. Okay. That'll slow us down a little. Particularly if Molly actually does honor that defensive cold arms. I'll just leave that there. It's no problem. Okay, we got all these troops. So why don't we just wait a month and then we'll send them down towards Castile's capital. Okay, so these guys are getting pulled out and they're being sent all the way down here. And all three of these armies are going to be marching down here. We got all these armies, but they're just going to hold back until we get everything court over here, then we can declare war on France again. We got this papal influence to bump our stability back up, one of the points. Eh, we don't need to wait for this. We can just take their capital, and Yao won't protect them. So this should fall very quickly. And let's see if Castile, yeah, Molly will help them, except if we potentially buddy up to Molly. They might be willing to have us as an ally instead and just take that and prestige hit. I'm going to have them protect trade in the English Channel. 
Okay, let's test this theory out. Yeah, so that's kind of what I anticipated. Okay, we'll just keep converting. I'm going to grab another military leader as soon as we have points, which we now do. Sadly, he does not have siege. Wow, that's the long way around. Okay, um, well, I guess this guy's going back to Italy. This fleet is actually making pretty good time. We don't need too much from Castile, so hopefully they'll surrender pretty quickly. Okay, now we could turn on Elinowick. He's allied to France. We do want this to core. So we'll give it one year. And if France is not willing to join because they're in debt or something, <laughs> we'll just uh, pay off through that. Which is one of my favorite tricks. I encourage everyone to do that. If you really need to get into a war with the country and they won't join because they're in debt, pay off their debt, get them in the war, take stuff from them, you can always get your money back. Okay, we're going to split these guys up and just go for the coast a little bit at a time. I think we can actually, yeah, we can actually convert whatever we want at the current time. Okay, this fleet it has arrived. I should make sure that we don't lose it to attrition. Whoa, there's some really beat up units there. I was worried that that was all of them. But not even close. Okay, 54 war score. It's just going to be ticking upward. Uh, so let's wait till we take this fort. We'll just grab some other stuff. Okay, Samoa is ours. Okay, we're nearly done here, so let's just take from Castile what we want, which is that. And we'll take this as well. Uh, do we want the we don't want the overextension. We don't need that, so we're not going to take it. Yeah, we don't want to have to core anything that we don't need to core. So let's pick these guys back up. I guess I could have left them there for a few months. I really didn't need to. Let's just grab more of the coast. Sad, I liked being able to convert things that quickly. Hopefully we can get another plus three. We can. Great. Okay, six six four. Sounds great. And let's see if that puts the orange chest in power. Not quite yet. Okay, we're just holding out here. What's that last one? That's Melilla. Okay, so once these others core, 
we're going to start that war against France. And hopefully they lost... No, they kept at least some of their colonies. They lost Floride. Let's set them as friendly. I'm not going to send a diplomat to them. Because we only got one free at the moment. Okay. So we can take quite a bit once these finish. And they will in just over a week. Okay. So we can take 96 points worth of stuff from them if they would let us have it. So let's just go and start grabbing our coast. Okay, I don't think we need this over here, but this is pretty good. Um, we might as well take some more reparations. Quite have sufficient points here, but in a couple of years we'll be able to get that. We can get some diplo points. I drop them down to thirty. They get a little pissy with us, so um, I think we'll just hold off. We're just going to move these guys back out to the coast and keep them there there for a little while. These guys over to yeah, there's fine. Let's split them up. Benghazi and Tripoli. Yeah, so we've got nice coasts. All the coastal territory in the Black Sea, the Mediterranean, and now we just need this area. So let's start our engines in Lenawek. France would join in. We can't call them as a, as a co-belligerent, but that's fine. And I'm thinking that we will actually try to conquer them. Seven. Okay, so let's march up there if we can. Day. And we'll just move on in here. We definitely want a good leader in charge of all of this. Apparently inherited some marks. We don't want them. Let's just double check to make sure that we don't have any other marks anywhere. Nope. I want to know how we're doing on tech. Okay, so we might as well collect some war taxes just to make our money more obscene. Okay, we'll just leave these guys camped out because it looks like no one's suffering any attrition except for this army. And we could pull off some of these guys if we really cared. But we don't. Can we get up there? Yeah, we can.
Okay, Piedmont, sure. We'll send up some cannons really shortly. So we've wiped out their army. We're waiting on one more cannon, but we'll send this army up all the same. And we could cruise break with France right after this if we want to. It's pretty up to the USA. And this shouldn't hold out for very long. We can see if we can get another general. It's hoping for some siege value. But can't all be winners. Eighteen thirteen. Let me just double check to make sure this video is recording. Yeah, we're sixteen minutes into it. Yeah, that just would be really annoying if I lost one of the videos. Okay, so this guy's gonna start going up north as well. Yeah. Guess that's gonna be our path. Get lost access through somebody. Oh, they're gonna kill one cannon. But that's fine. We're about to capture this, then so we can march back down south. Okay, French Brazil, Oregon, French Louisiana. So, wow. They are not messing around. Yeah, let's wait till we capture Paris and see where that leaves our war score. Yeah, that's the only problem we really stand to face. I mean, we could just wait five years until we get 100%. They really don't want to do that. So it doesn't leave us much time. Okay, we'll get caught up here on Diplotech a little. How many Diplo points is this really? 100? Nothing to get too excited over. Okay, let's head up there and we'll figure out where we want to send the troops once we're done crushing them. I think we might have to go for French Louisiana and then Oregon. Just get that war score. And that would be easy to take. So let's pick these guys up and head down here. Yeah, if we can get enough war score to take all France's stuff here. And that's kind of that's the goal. We can always get more prestige. We've almost got 200 points, so we could get back to stability instantly if we truce break. So we'll probably do that pretty quickly. Oh, they do have a big army here. Shouldn't underestimate them. Let's go into the jungle. Should have brought a general. So once we capture this territory, I will shift a general over.
Okay, we don't want to take this general. So anyone but Yust. Can we just get natural access to them? Seems like that would save us a lot of time. Okay, anyone but Yust. And they are in jungles, they do have some defensive bonuses. Okay, this guy. Oh, they're gonna win, aren't they? Yeah, they're gonna win. No, who? Go on the ships. Okay, let's get these ships in the port. Oh, would they really defeat us? Let's actually let them hit us. We can always pull out. Okay, so that gave us free morale. Let's uh, hit these guys for free morale. Okay, we'll head back in just a sec. And hope that we get better rolls and everything. Okay. It's gonna get messed up. Okay. Bug oh, just flew right into my nose. Hey, do when they do that? One sec. Okay, back in. Okay, let's see what they'd be willing to part with now. Let's hit them here. Got these guys back in port. Get some more score there. They're moving into the Eureka, so we're going to move in and then back here. Yeah, this guy's more score. Some of the Okay, so what we want from you guys is all Francis stuff. I'm not quite ready there, 25 away. But what if we asked France directly? No, they wouldn't go for it at all. Okay, we crack the walls here. Okay, who else is in the war that could stop us? No one. So we just need to get some more war score. We're sitting on, on the war goal. So finish off their fleet here. They'll come back for more. As many as it takes. Wait it out. And what we really want to make sure that doesn't happen is that they don't liberate their capital. So let's keep an eye on that. Uh, they're moving guys around. Our subject should generally keep it clear. Sadly, we can't assault that or anything. Just got to break the old fashioned way. Okay, they're moving in, we'll let them walk in and crush them.
and just keep doing that. Keep hitting our armies. Okay, they would now accept. Let's just double check that that gives us all of Europe. Okay, so we can restore the Roman Empire. Now, I do like this fort here. We don't need this one. Okay, we need a few more points. Okay, so Alençon has the only one. Now, last time I did this, they really screwed me because the cultural groups, but like my economy crashed right after. Okay, let's just take a double look at everything that's going on here. We got all the forts we need. These troops, let's pull back. These guys, let's get them on the ship. And we don't even need a truce break. Okay, let's um, let's revel in the moment. We are Netherlands. We're a big, mighty Netherlands, and we can restore the Roman Empire. Yeah. So we got all that. Um, do we want new traditions and ambitions? I mean, well, we did this, so let's let's revel in it. Okay, Roman is our culture. Um, yeah, this this could create some big issues for us with accepted cultures and what that means for revolt risk and conversions. Persia now, as long as we're not converting on some, that's fine. Okay, so that is our Roman Empire. Let's just get these troops moving back home and we will. Um, yeah, we lost the occupation of Rome, that's nice. And if we need to wait for him to get home, we're just gonna start sending him. And let's maybe ally with the US. Roman Canada. <laughs> that is so awesome. Okay, new Roman Empire down here. Okay, so that's our Roman Empire. That is it. It hasn't done anything weird with the cultures yet. And what's accepted and what's not. So these are not accepted cultures. That's a problem. Okay, did it shift Rome as our capital? I think it makes Rome our capital. But it might not change our trade. No, we're still collecting up there. So our economy didn't crash. And despite, well, let's wait a month. Double check that. So we could lose a whole bunch of cultures. Yeah, so we lost some money. Not too much. Okay, so I think what we need to do now is save it. And definitely watch our timeline on very fast speed. So we started as Brabant, and Austria got the the inheritance. We're pushing up north, spreading into Germany, spreading a little bit. Now is where we started. Whoops! I was gonna stop it for a second. Um, once we started spreading into here is when we started um, getting vassals 
and feeding those masses like Brunswick and so on, Hamburg, who are performing. Yes, and Nassau and Hesse. And we should see. Okay, so the League Ward happened. We became Netherlands. So this is after we ended the Empire. Just are pushing. Damn it, I did it again. <laughs> Nostalgia. Keeping my hand away from that pause button. So we started off pretty slow. And the Netherlands slowing down the time. So Bohemia is now our vassal and we're feeding them. I can definitely tell that. And Venice is exploding. Mantua is all crazy. Yeah, then we integrated them. And I think we can push into Britain really, really soon. So yeah, we're feeding Scotland. We're taking Northern Ireland. Feeding all of Sweden back. Took. I just look at how fast we're growing with all of our subjects. And we waited really long time before we went for Commonwealth, Moscow, Kiev. Um, yeah. So there's all of our subjects. And basically, all of Europe is. Belonging to that, with the exception of the Commonwealth in France. Next, um, Roman Empire. And that is, that is a nice Brabant. So we weren't able to do it as Flanders. We tried as Flanders to get what somebody called the stupid sexy Flanders achievement, where oh, I'm supposed to own all of Europe as Flanders without forming any new nations. Obviously, that's a Simpsons reference, uh, but we weren't able to to form the Netherlands in it. We had to stay as Flanders. Wait a minute. Why don't... What the hell's going on with... Uh, I wonder why Stockholm was colored differently. Does it always do that or something? Mm, weird. So we do have um, four more years, so let's see, what do we want to accomplish in our last four years? I'm thinking that um, no guy should definitely go down hard, because we should be able to just waltz across them. They don't have any allies. Um, we could wait until we get troops there, but that might slow us down. So I'm thinking we just declare right now. So we've got dip yeah, we've got two diplomats free. So we'll just declare it. And then we can move these guys over as well. Uh, Georgia, they got their independence, so we're going to move troops up to that border and attack them. Hey, Jaws, are you independent? Yes, and they're allied to the Ottomans. Ottomans can't do much about that. Um, we'll probably go for Oman. So we'll just start declaring wars and see how much that we can capture. So what can be accomplished in the four years? We will find out. Which uh, first of the month? It'd be smart to continue running. 
but we'll annex them either way. Protect trade. Yeah, so we would have gotten some major achievements in this run, including the uh, Mare Nostrum. We would have gotten the achievement for one million manpower in our reserve. Um, dissolving the Empire, not that. Of course, stuff about force limit. And yeah, I think we have really high. Yeah, we've gotten the land and naval morale ones. We wouldn't have gotten the 500 heavy ships one. So, could we do that? Now we're already over our force limit because we switched our ideas. So, what do Roman ideas give us? Well, they give us this one. Um, and they give us um, legitimacy, but that doesn't help us because we are a republic. So that really should be fixed. And that really should go to republican tradition in the republic. Manpower, plus 33%, which is really nice. Lowered unrest, diplomatic reputation, which is kind of weird when you get this far into it because... I mean, <laughs> basically conquered everything. I guess you're still integrating in the vassals, so I shouldn't put that down. For world conquest, that would be nice. Lowered stability. Again, at this point, um, it's not really super. But to minus 20%, that's just wonderful. Uh, infantry combat ability and force limit goes up. Production efficiency of 20% is quite nice. National tax modifier 10%. So that offsets what you get for losing all of all these cultures. Core creation cost of minus 20% is it's pretty good. So yeah, all around it's it's a really solid idea set. Not not the best in the world, but it's really good in my opinion. And let's get higher influence here. We definitely want to go in the running here because we got plenty of influence and we're no longer losing it like mad. Morocco is still allowed to have a cardinal, so we do need to invade them as soon as possible. So Mali would help them out. Um, why don't we wait a couple months though, because we had some other targets that we wanted to attack. go for that. And Medribari is in it, so we're going to attack them. And Morocco doesn't have a whole lot still going for it. There's that fort and that fort. Here's Pick this army up and prepare it for the invasion of, of Mali. If they're going to choose the wrong side in this war, we're going to punish them for it. These guys we're going to send down as well. Okay, so we can get 50 prestige. I'm just going to go for the one stability because it's it's nothing either way. But I like getting stability, so we're just doing that in general principle. Okay, so no guy. So we'll go through here and take their other fort. It's about to fall, and then we'll crush those guys. And annex them. So 
Morocco. Okay, Mali, do you actually have any allies? Nope. So if you choose poorly here, we're actually going to attack you. Now we're going to move these guys in. This guy, we won't be able to get there quite yet. Yeah, but now we'll keep this guy to deal with rebels if any pop up. I think we're pretty stable. Biggest problem is not accepting any cultures. So like these cultures in our capital and Indian are religious in our primary culture I think become Roman but not those within our cultural group. Still that's you know recognize USA and yeah <laughs> independent and we are allied to him, so yeah, I guess we recognize him. Okay, so let's start annexing. You don't get to have claims on our stuff or cores on it. Seventy eight percent. Let's move down here, take this, um, then we can just turn and attack Persia. Capital will be right there. Okay, so we're allowed twenty two more. Uh, this isn't doing a whole lot for us, so why don't we move our army up here. And then at least we'll park this here, the army there, and then we can move our fleet back down. Okay, 22 worth of stuff from no guy. And that's pretty good. Take that, start coring it. Can't be too greedy in any area. Let's actually send these trips back and we'll split them in half. Uh, the rebels aren't going to have a chance to pop. So we're not even going to worry about trying to appease them. Everything coring, don't need to worry about that. We can just convert whatever we want. Korea is invading Muscovy. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you can't really get upset about um, old history here. when Brabant has um, conquered Europe and reformed the Roman Empire at the time of Napoleon. I guess it does make some sense uh, in that sense that Napoleon saw himself as, well, I shouldn't say saw himself, but adopted the, uh, the finery and um, imagery 
symbolism of the Roman Empire presented the culmination of the Revolutionary Republic turning into an empire in the same way that the French Republic became the French Revolution, or the Roman Republic had become the empire first. Are you actually going to attack us? We'll see how that goes. We don't have a general, so... You know, it might work out from. Then they... Yeah, they got it. Okay. Well, we can just put a general in charge and, and push into that. Um, do we attack Persia? I think we do. Let's just get their capital and see what they'd be willing to give us. And we'll split this. No, we really don't need to split it in half. Let's just put a general on it and move it down here. That would have been nice to attack right away for war score. But, you know. Can't get everything going away. Okay, we don't need to worry about moving this fleet back down there because we already inland. So we wreck their army right up here, and we're going to hit the second one. Stack wipe that too. Already took their capital. Let's go for this one. It's a smaller fort. We can get more. So we're already at 14 war score here. This guy definitely wants a general. And he's got Pippa Siege. So we'll just wait a month and then march him back down south and send him some reinforcements. Third use is in power. Some admin points from them. Some diplo points from them. Give them these charters, ask for money, and we'll just take that tech. I guess we get some mercantilism. It's free, so why not? Okay, we'll leave these guys there until the end of the month. If you... Okay, well, we could start going crazy here. We need some more war score here before I'm going to peace out Morocco. I don't mind going way overextended now because you know, we're not going to be around long enough for anything bad to happen. They do want more war score to take more from them. Okay, the army needs to march south. Oh, they took the capital back. We'll get it again. Don't have a whole lot of time to get it, but we will. Yeah, this one is going to go down here. Didn't we take the capital? No, I'm taking now. Okay, we got that. Let's march down here. And then we can just focus on these three, whatever order we need to. Okay, let's record that. We've got all of Europe done right. Yeah, we'll just leave these guys here. We're 
or nearly ready to piece them out. What do you know? Brazil? Sure. We don't care. They'll bug us and ask us about it again if we tell them now, so let's just... Like, which diplomatic option will make you guys shut up? Okay, that's the one we're going for. Should we split up between these guys? No, we want the maximum um, cannon bonus. And let's pull our fleet out. Spread it out between several provinces here. Several sea zones. Um, because then... We'll uh, get worse for for blockading. Okay, we took their capital again. And let's get over here and hit them. We'll be able to dislodge them from that if they try messing with it. Okay, anyone low enthusiasm? Molly is almost ready for peace. Let's actually hit him here and move down. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Let's see if we can eliminate Morocco first. We can take that because it would result in their complete annihilation. Okay, so we're just going to hold out and get some more war score. Let's get these guys to the coast so that they suffer less attrition. Not that our manpower pool is going to run out. You know what? We're going to keep them there because we have unlimited manpower at this point. We're just going to revel in it. Okay. Just checking on the recording. I'm clearing my throat. Okay. So we dislodged them from a Scott. Uh, I don't even know where we're going to go. We can go here. Is this. Is it. Noshed. Uh, that doesn't interest us too much. So we can't get a fleet over there in time to really do anything about that. They're going to try moving troops back onto here and really jack them. So let's get these guys up north. So if that was clear. To Morocco, that they didn't have any choice about submitting. We weren't really asking. Okay, so let's take as much of your coast as we can. Okay, that's nice. Well, what else would you give us? I bet your fort. Now it's pushing it. I bet your money. Okay, that's exactly how much it give us. So we'll take that. And now we are going to start worrying about unrest. Because who knows how high our overextension is. Okay, it's not bad. Three to court any of this. Okay, so that's fine. And now Morocco can't really object. Get 
Okay, so we are the only people with cardinals. So I imagine that we will become the next papal controller, if there is one. Okay, fortress. Ooh, that is your fortress. And let's just do we increase the autonomy here? I don't need to. Okay, we're still not over 100, so we're just going to hold the course. And let's get these armies back to the coast. Yes, yeah, so we got a lot of West Africa for one war. Took out Morocco. 1818. Okay, what can we still get from you guys? They got low enthusiasm. So let's wait till we get Diplomat back and see what we can take. My people go. Okay, now we can take a bunch more stuff. Let's start it up. Want that? If you want those, our borders will look so much better. What if we wanted Mecca and Medina? Well, we're going to have to go after Hejaz. That's Bushnet. Okay, but that isn't. We got that. Are you going to give me money? I'm not going to give you money. Okay, we'll take that. I know I could slow down the speed to be more efficient right now. And I could get a few more provinces out of the whole thing, but it really doesn't matter at this point. Okay, so we've got these trips up there. These guys, well, we'll get these guys over here. Uh, to the Ottomans. Ottomans won't be able to do anything to protect them. So now our, our generals are all getting Roman names, which is awesome. Okay, we got another missionary. This is stuff that we might be able to coerce. I'm not going to start converting it. Okay, 94. Okay, guys. So, declare war on you. Ottomans, whatever. Not much care. I think we'll have to leave them with the province because we're not going to be able to get enough horse square to fully annex them. Oh. So, a lot of this we can't core right now because of the Ottoman cores. They're still on it. But that war is not going to take very long at all. And if this falls, then we can move north and save that fort. Let's do it. Some of this more expensive stuff is probably from other people in Morocco and such.
So some of that we can't convert. Roma, definitely want to convert that. We won't have time, but we're just doing it on the general principle. Yeah, so we should be able to f fully occupy them really soon. We lost the battle. That's okay. Okay, Tatooine. That's in from our Tunis, so that will work. Okay, which battle do we lose? Oh, we lost that battle. That's the one that was most important for us to win. Okay, well, let's um, see what we can get from Persians. Uh, they're still medium. Let's see if we can get them down to low enthusiasm. We might recapture their capital, so that will make it a little more difficult. So let's send some troops in. They do have mountains protecting them, but we're on a timer here. Let's get these guys moving in as well. And these guys will eject them one way or another. Okay, so this, and we want Mecca. I'm not going to accept a full annexation. Well, why don't we go for the coast, because we're going for Mary Nostrum. Achieved it, but the idea was, um, you know, control the coast and Europe. Okay, so Najd is still in the war. Didn't even realize that. Okay, did we go over? We did go over 100. Our part's going to fall apart. It's all over for us in like two years. Won't be able to last them longer than that. Okay, let's start marching back here. We'll actually plan out our attacks a little better if this one fails, which it probably will. Yeah. Now this next one will work because they're not going to have too many men. This will just delay that. That liberation. Okay. That'd be a fine one. Twenty four still. No guy. Okay, so now they're getting ejected. Okay, their enthusiasm is low. Not quite done yet, though. We're going to leave this army right there. We don't need it. Let's uh, hit these guys. Okay, that army we should deal with just on general principle. So let's send these guys up there. By the time they're up there, they'll have some more men. Okay, convenience, we don't care. Render. And these guys, where do you want me to go? I'm gonna go there. You guys have another leader, three siege pips. Send them here and then go over there. Okay, just gonna take a second to take a drink. All right. 
might as well hold out um, a little bit longer. Be able to get a little bit more war score waiting for this thing to fall. This is basically our last war that I could see us doing. Um, we'll get that Kiar and but we're not going to be able to get too much war score. Two went out, one out, nope. Gazi, Tripoli, and such we can do. Okay, they're moving in to hit us. I think they're movement locked in a second. Yeah, they're uh, running in at full speed. So this could be funny. Oh, I don't have great morale. I don't know what's happening there. Why don't we have good morale? Okay, so 47 worth of stuff. Take more than that. Oh, this is about to surrender. We might as well hold out. Okay, we'll get in there. Crush them. I don't know, where did we have rebels? I wasn't even paying attention. Here. And let's use Yan. Here, we'll split these guys in half. Okay, hard to be all that was all that we were waiting for. Kazakh separatists. Okay, we could attack somebody like Castile, but it would take a while to get everything we wanted. Okay, yeah, so let's um Go ahead and sign this piece. Okay, might as well take those three. Push back here, get better borders. We take a bunch of stuff in here. Okay. 113% over extension, but this will really rack the Persians as we're going for it. That is a nice looking Roman Empire. Okay, what are we up to? 218%. It's going to start dropping. Because we're about to core a bunch of stuff. Okay, so why don't we send these guys north? Yeah, these guys are just going to start going crazy. Um, where's the Muscovite capital? Okay, it's there. Well, we might be able to get to it in time. Only one way to find out. This is totally going to provoke rebels. Oh, but... oh surprisingly not. Nothing no points to core, so let's just do it this way. Anything under 10, we're just going to leave alone. 
for now. We're never going to be able to tack up. So just break these forts. Okay, that's pretty good looking Brabant. Um, let's take some pictures here of it. Might as well get the religious map as well. Okay. Okay, these guys, we want to get up to Muscovy as quickly as possible. Because we're just trying to get war school. Yeah, look at all that stuff in the cord. Great. Okay, all well, you guys up to Muscovy and then we'll switch out. Okay, um, let's actually send them all up here. Even these guys, after they get there, once this guy conquers it. They'll be unexiled. Okay, can't core any of that yet. Yeah, we don't care. Okay, so we're just gonna send ten guys on to capture this. That way, the groups that are coming up to get. I'm exiled. I have something that they can move on to. I will just keep hopping. There, there, move on. Let's do this lowest cost first. Okay, 175. We'll go for that. These guys, we'll just send them up there then. Yeah, we don't care. Accepted culture threshold. We could use some accepted cultures. Subscribe. Yeah, we don't care. I guess we'll send one army down there to deal with you. Oh, we lost this army down there. Where'd they go? I guess you get to deal with them. Enjoy. Thank you for your service. And this is their capital, I think. Yep. Okay. So we're going to have a lot of troops moving up there to throw a bunch of cannons. So let's just move them through here, all the way up. Okay, we're still just corn things like crazy. 
that doesn't look like that would add up to 172. That's little numbers. Okay, where can we guarantee that we already have cord? So, Lake, definitely. Okay, 1820. So we gotta get this. Well, lots of guys all at once. Okay, you guys get over here. Lots of rebels. Okay. You guys help me out. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to put down some of these rebels. Send the two. That's dropping. Okay, this fort should recapture that, so we're just going to move on down here. 89,000. Yeah, we'll never take that in time. Or that. Somebody else is sieging either way. So. This is basically it. This is our largest territorial extent. I just keep corn stuff. So he's welcome. Obviously, if I was, you know, not at the end of the game, I wouldn't be taking on such crazy overextension and it causes all these rebels. So it's not like I'm losing it at the end. It's just that I don't care. So I'm just going for the extra territory at the end. There, and go back to there. Yeah, huge stacks everywhere. Okay, let's go and save the second realm. Yeah, well, at least we dropped down to 158. Harsh treatment them down. Anyone else want to rise up? Yeah, we're gonna make you go away. Shivani, go away. Just you know, don't have to fight a bunch of rebels. France became the papal controller. I guess serious. Serious. Okay, so we are sitting on this 42,000 men. Um, only a few months to go. Let's, let's call the assault and start sending in these guys. We might be able to take something from them. Nope, not quite yet. 3,900. So once these guys get there, we'll launch another if we can do it in time and try to send off a peace deal. 
to get even more overextension. Because, I mean, of course we're going to. 57. Oh, hey, let's put these guys in. Five six one, yeah, that's better. Okay, it looks like they're slowing down a little. We would actually be able to survive this if we were. To continue playing. I mean, we wouldn't be able to keep doing what we're doing with expanding as much as we are. But if we just took time to recover, it'd be perfectly fine. Okay. Forgot that we need to be launching this assault, so let's do that again. Okay, we captured it. We uh, oh, we only have five war score. <laughs> okay, so well, looks like we can't get anything still. That's unfortunate. Okay, first January eighteen twenty one. We are finished. Well, I think it stops on the third. Okay, so let's go through this timeline once again. So we'll start off slow and pick up speed. So we declare a war of independence. And that happens before we even get a chance to expand. So we push into Galera. Then we'll push into Luge. And then we start picking up allies around it here. So slow. We're barely expanding. Okay, we've Taking a little bit of territory there. So basically I had all the Dutch stuff then, except for what Austria had. And Bohemia is getting big and scary. We push east, we're starting to get some subjects, and using that to expand. Okay, picking up the speed. Brunswick. Haynes was overperforming. Okay, took out Aachen. Okay, now we start getting our, our two subjects. And we took that stuff from them. Bohemia messed us up. Then we revassalized and fed them. And next them. We got Saxony as a subject. And start pushing around. Bohemia becomes our subject. Move from the Netherlands and start feeding. And basically, this is when all the coalition stuff starts happening. Denmark has control of Britain. Yeah, notice that Stockholm is colored differently in this. Okay, we start expanding our Scotland and 
push into here. Type in Balkans, parts of it. So wrecking Britain, we've conquered Scandinavia. I think, yeah, I've been pushing in over here. Some more here. Through that nonsense with Leon. And start annexing. Yeah, let's conquer Italy. Roman Empire. That was a beautiful Roman Empire. Okay, so we're going to take a couple more screenshots there. Can't see the rebels, so that looks um, you know, like a stable, impressive empire. And we're going to save it. And call it a video. So we got 20,000 points with Brabant. I don't know what the record is. We're going to have to check the leaderboards and see what it is. But thank you for watching. This has been another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard, where we started out as Brabant, and we did some pretty amazing things. No world conquest, but you know, I wasn't trying for it. Um, I would have had to go about things quite differently. Um, so if you like this video, um, well, certainly welcome and encouraged to give it a thumbs up and or subscribe to my channel. I'm not sure what the next thing I'm going to try is. Um, possibly just playing as um, the Golden Horde or something. Uh, haven't done that for a little while. But I might look for some other achievements if anyone's asking for anything on the boards that suggests that they're having trouble, like um, Animal Kingdom, I think it can be done pretty quickly. You either succeed or fail right away, and you know where, where it's going to be going. Um, so I might do that one. Yeah. yeah, so keep in touch, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you guys soon.